Um, Gemini, we do have the Chariot in Reverse and the King of Pentacles. You might be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, and they are stuck somewhere in the process. Cancer Energy 2, but the Chariot in Reverse is like, you know what, I am unable to move when we have the Chariot again and the Six of Cups. So yeah, they are your soulmate, of course. You have a bond with them, but for now they are... Um, exactly where they need to be and they cannot move and the knight of cups in reverse Pisces, cancer scorpio energy they might be emotionally drained in a relationship that is no longer emotionally fulfilling for our sorts planning and strategizing but anyways let's see let's see in love what's coming your way Perfect. Now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week. The most important one. And we do have the Ace of Cups in reverse. I tell you, somebody is emotionally drained and looking for a very passionate connection. Somebody is done with um, a love that is no longer there. The connection that is no longer there and longing for the Eight of Wands. Traveling, discovering, passion, chemistry, um, to be zeros, being ready for love, that kind of energy. Is it the situation unfair? Probably it is, with the justice in reverse. Um, but here somebody is done, done, done with the unfair past and uh, lack of emotions and we want to be victorious. Right, Gemini? This can be your energy. This can be the person you are dealing with if they are in, an, in another connection and they want to come towards you. Longing to be victorious, longing to be passionate, longing to have a purpose, a loved one. Um, a love purpose, right? So let's see. So Gemini, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. Current energies on your side. Okay, you get three for the per the person you are dealing with and mutual energies, you get three. It's okay. They have a lot to say. Makes sense. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, King of One King of Cups, sorry, in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio and Libra so far and the Knight of Cups again I tell you and now the Page of Wands I don't know whose energy I'm picking up but definitely I'm picking up the energy of somebody who is in a relationship a very draining one with somebody and longing for passion and a spark this is the Page of Wands somebody longs for a new beginning somebody wants is screaming this reading so far is screaming yes I know it is unfair I know this is what shouldn't happen, but unfortunately, this is, you know, my body longs for passion. Um, Gemini, Knight of Wands in the past and the Five of Swords um, in reverse. So we had a lot of passion for this person. It might have been um, a little bit in and out in terms of conflict and fight, uh, verbal exchanges, and then it was kind of making up, you know, the fight and then you make love and it's the most boom love, we, you know. Uh, that kind of energy this is how it feels you know like the ultimate fight and then the ultimate making love and it all the problems in the world uh, were solved this is how it looks like I know quite very passionate for some of you we have water sign and we have fire sign um, and um, kind of it looks like you might have a bond with a fire sign and then you know you met this person in the past and it was all this energy of uh, conflicted energy is it the water sign is it the fire sign for some of you this is such a clear message of being emotionally drained by the water sign and focusing and having this new passion very um uh, at the beginning kind of because we started with the page we moved to the night this means going from the spark and the flirt to night of wands we know it's about making love we know it's about acting on emotions and passion and love and it means making love to this person just saying now gemini we do have the energy of the world 
probably this person at some point said no thank you you are committed to somebody else you are not mine 100 percent god knows what had them um to finish this cycle and seven of wands they might have blocked you in the past might have said you know what no thank you maybe it was we know knight of wands is um you know um passion for a knight maybe this is what it was um but it looks like in the past this person said you know what let's put it on ice and see how it goes and um but they went on and they blocked in some way seven of wands right i said no i need my distance my time and all this and then we do have the death scorpio energy and the ace of wands this combination um gemini speaks of an energy of one night passion and it was ended before it really began right that's the ace of wands uh, it was very promising it was very passionate it was something new um and and then uh, we do have the world and the death kind of two cards to say two energies to say it was over and done with right and maybe this is where we are right now and all the cups in reverse might be your energy being a little bit sad about it um a little bit blocked a little bit um you know um defensive wanting victory wanting to overcome this um emotional uh, situation but mainly unfair situation because we do have the justice in reverse i feel that half of you screams i need that passion i need a new passion in my life i need to have to live with purpose and the other one is screaming blockages unfairness sadness um tears that kind of energy so um this is what's going on well right now we do have the eight of pentacles in reverse and the ten of pentacles upright so for my gemini being in a marriage with somebody and longing for somebody else this is an energy where we are focusing on our internal world uh, full of emotions full of passion full of wants and needs and maybe we are uh, less preoccupied by the stability uh, the money the roots the you know things around you the everyday life because it's uh, um it's living intense honestly the reading this reading <laughs> kind of yells at me living on the edge living intensely because we need that um, intensity now the person you are dealing with they are quite of in a uh, sneaky shady slippery kind of place we do have seven of swords this is um, in hiding this is ghosting this is not really being honest fully honest about what's going on but in the same time it comes from a place of anxiety and it comes from a place of um, discontent we do have nine of cups in reverse and nine of swords in reverse no they are not happy yes they were very stressed about what happened between the two of you in the past at some point you were their wish fulfillment they believe they believed right it was possible but they had to end something so maybe the married energy i'm picking up might be very well their energy and they were the one the ones with the seven of swords energy because you know and longing for passion because the place where they were was one a little bit um i would say less emotional less sensual less sexual somebody was not making love anymore with the ace of wands in reverse so i'm just saying um, Gemini mutual energies right now between the two of you everything is blocked and stopped we do have the eight of wands is like nobody please don't approach kind of energy or nobody can approach or is allowed to um, we do have the eight of wands in reverse no movement whatsoever we don't have a plan we don't have direction we are just human beings existing and breathing um and that's all right because you show up here right so that is still this exchange of, of vibrations and energies your energy is right in the middle of the reading so um if you are wondering uh, if your question was um you know uh, they forgot about me maybe no they don't they didn't actually um this is the energy of thought this is an energy of having anxiety over losing you and then we have the three of cups in reverse no you are not happy no they are not happy <clears throat> I would say on your side is this energy of um, taking it easy um, honestly eight of pentacles in reverse is like well well what can I do right 
um, if upright is about I have a plan I'm gonna work on it I'm gonna learn how to or whatever there is a sense of dedicated effort in 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 reverses you know what um, I've done everything what else is there to be done and on their side honestly they are I mean nine of swords nine of cups right emotions all over the place and the mind is all over the place with the nine of swords I'm just saying and of course uh, they also have the seven of swords so just let's be mindful of whatever um, slippery slide they might be walking on right now right because of you know that this is bad decisions because of stress because of anxiety because of emotions all over the place so you know I'm, I'm just saying I don't know maybe even the ending that you guys went through was it feels like something that was um, um, a decision that was made by themselves looks like ghosting the whole energy feels like ghosting it was death boom and then the world boom you know it's endings and putting a world of a world of distance between the two of you so so then now there is a world of, of unhappiness but um in the same time that is still energy circulating from them to you and from you to them so um in terms of synchronicities and thinking about right and and remembering the time and, and that kind of energy um, the possible outcome for you, Gemini, we do have the Six of Pentacles in reverse and we have the Nine of Wands. We are releasing whatever imbalance uh, they are producing in our life here. Nine of Wands is like, you know what, um, that's it, I'm, I'm fully letting, letting it go. It is an energy of self-protection, so in reverse is the energy of taking a little bit of a risk. But um, at the end of the day, we are releasing any form of imbalance and whatever was not reciprocated, we send it out into the universe and say, you know what, please give me passion and reciprocation, right? In our manif everyday manifestation. Now, the person you are dealing with, Gemini, we do have the Queen of Wands and we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Of course, one is you, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, Libra shows up twice, I'm just saying. And the Queen of Wands. If you are dealing with a fire sign, that's good. Your energy is all over them. Um, this is all about, again, synchronicities and thinking about you. And whatever they do, or wherever they go, uh, you know, by their day, there are moments where your energy shows up in messages, in people. Um, uh, that kind of energy if you're not dealing with a fire sign somebody might have like two queens over here um that's why they are in in this kind of seven of swords kind of energy they are stressed out i mean um uh, may they never meet right they might have a wife and, and girlfriends and this is let's hope they will never meet because both energies are in reverse i'm just saying but um uh, they are not in a good place and um, Gemini, we don't like their energy, right? I'm just saying. Uh, of course, if it's an air sign like yourself and you show up as a fire sign, very passionate, vice versa, we love this. But with the energy so far, we have blockages, we have endings, we have ghosting, we have stress because of this um, slippery slope kind of energy and we want peace of mind. And mutual energies um between you and this person we do have the two of wands in reverse and we have the ace of cups in reverse so this is the energy of not turning your back on this situation on this um rejection i would say and they are not turning their back on whatever happened between the two of you so yeah your energy both your energies are still mixing and vibrating right and finding uh, their own frequency kind of and I uh, do believe it's a passionate, some, that we have a lot of ones and all our cups are in reverse. So kind of concerning. Um, and again, somebody might be in a relationship where um, emotions are no longer there and we long for ones can happen. Um, no judgment here. Um, either can be, however this applies, right? It's collective energy. It's kind of difficult to say, but um, yeah. We have somebody passionate and we have somebody, um, but it's a forbidden passion. I hope you know that it does look like, um, like this one. Now, Gemini, let's ask for some guidance, shall we? Let's see what we need to do in regards to this. We have 
surrender to wonder and awe. This is about your inner child, right? So open to the magic of every moment and sense the awe and wonder in all of life. This attitude will keep you connected to the ecstasy of flow. So maybe you worry too much, um, Gemini, and now you really have to, you know, take it slowly. Mesmerize like a kid. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Well, just saying, right? Surrender to passion. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. So yeah, we need passion, right, Gemini? We need something to keep, um, to keep us on fire. And surrender to spirit. That's exactly how I felt for the outcome. Nine of Wands in reverse, just send it out into the universe. Not focusing on the hurt, but saying, you know what, uh, please take care of it. So once you've done everything you are, you can to achieve a goal, turn your situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. That's exactly you have two cards, Gemini. I don't know if you, um, in general, or in this situation in particular, you want to control something because you get two cards saying, no, let it go. No results, do what you can and, you know, um, don't focus on results, but mainly on what you can do to make it happen and then send it to the universe. And that's the same surrender to spirit. Give the situation up to the universe. And if they are to be yours, they will come running. Okay. Trust me on that. Um, so Gemini, this is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.